Alright folks, we're in Hootsprit, South Africa. The old razor and the clippers are coming out. So this will be the last time that you see me with a full head of hair. How long did it take you? <laughs> Two and a half years. Yes. Bye bye ladies. Holy shit. And that my friends is the end of an era. My name is Matt Brackett. The reason I'm here is because of animal poaching. A world without animals, a world without wild, free spaces is not a world I want to be in. So my mission now is fighting poaching. Now, I don't want any civilian clothes. You're going on a training course. We're not going to town. You're not going to a party. Sergeant Andrew is a guy that believes 100% in the cause. Climbs trees like that, comes down frontwards. Never seen anything like it. You never know where he's going to appear. <laughs> he's got a great personality, but he definitely can be hard as well. Come on, wake up, wake up, wake up. Get down. Wants us to be the best that we can be and demands that. <laughs> Come out here and you, that's what you get, down and dirty. If you get hurt, try to push through it. <sighs> Wait in my fucking time! Man, this course beats you. Of course, we're reopening wounds. Uh, feels good though to bleed. I kicked my ass. So cotton moth, I hardly can talk. But I'm getting in shape. We start walking through the bush and one of our unit members pretty much just lay down and he just refused to go on. We tried as much as we could, but when the kid's feet stop moving, he just becomes dead weight. And... I'm not even switching. I'm not the fucking man like you. I think he kind of wanted to get kicked out. If I have a bigger body and everything, I could make it. But this, this, can't. That day, three of the guys said, this is too hard and I'm not gonna be able to do it. And so they left. You are the team leader, you make sure things go smoothly. If they do not do what they are supposed to do, I'm coming down on you. And you will come down on them. 50 push-ups. 31 team, 32 team. Guys, I was up at fucking 4 in the morning. You woke up at 5 o'clock. We're not here to goddamn sleep in. All you gotta do is pick me fucking up. What are we? One team! What? One team! What? One team! Let's do this. Everybody is becoming brothers. We got each other's backs. We help each other out in the bush on patrol. Each other's lives are in our hands. Impala, yeah? Impala droppings. And we're putting them in our mouth and spitting them as far as we can. It's a nice little game. God, I'm so hungry I could eat these, actually. So you take a little Impala dropping, and put it in your mouth like that. There's nothing wet, you know? Ah, it hit the rock. <laughs> oh. oh. Damn, dude, that was twice as far as me. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Thank you.
All right, well, welcome to Night Patrol. So what we got here is the whole unit lined up. We got a roadblock up here. We're in the last defense before they hit the road. Our job is to find any sort of illegal meat or horns. So that's what we're practicing here. Evening, sir. You mind if I have a check of your vehicle? Actually, yes. Guys, vehicle check. So perhaps say they have a rhino horn, then we get very aggressive. Hands on the roof, hands on the roof. On the door, on the door. Get him out, get him out. Ah, Where did you find that rhino horn? I picked it up. You picked it up? Yeah. What, just on the side of the road you found a rhino horn? I thought it was like a cow. Interesting. Somehow I don't believe you, sir. It's a very serious crime to have a rhino horn. It's a life sentence. Do you realize the penalty of such an act? And people get off of me. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Oh, Keep, down. Down. Keep them down. down. The whole team is working hard to get this right, because if they slip by us, they head off into the city with the horn. They grind it up, and it's pretty much impossible to find, and then they get it out of the country. When we're on patrol, you're generally walking 20 to 30 kilometers a day. You're in formation, you're looking for snares, looking for the signs of poaching activity. What happens is you'll dribble a bunch of food here, and the birds come up to eat the food. It takes their legs right off, and the poacher will come up and just take them in the bag and head on out. This is a hotbed of activity for rhino poaching. Now's the time. Our training's gonna come into play. This is the foot of a black rhino. It's been pretty cut up. The horn's gone, and they just leave the rest for the vultures. And we got four of these rhino just around us. And when you think that there's about 2,000 of these left, minus four now, this is definitely the tipping point in this war. If we have some people here, we all care. We're all going to do everything we can to stop this. So what we're doing now is camouflaging out the full-on black polish. We want the silverback gorilla now. This is not a drill. This is not a drill. Somebody who don't want to go back out now. Everybody's getting the game face on. Huh? Hopefully we'll get some poachers tonight. We came upon fresh tracks. It's poachers because they're zigzagging all around, looking for the best place to put their snares. happened here is we're on our way to night ambush. We noticed a guy. He looked very nervous. Obviously, they've just made a, a kill. I asked him, hey dude, what's in the, in the cooler box? And then as he opened, uh, JD got under the fence. I turned around and he started running. To me, uh, shot a few warning shots. Uh, but yeah, he just kicked it. Oh, we must lay ambush for this motherfucker. At least we got his cooler of meat. Just too bad we didn't catch him. South Africans were stronger than Americans, and you showed what the Americans is about. Rhino poaching is at an all-time high. They suspect the rhinos could be extinct in the year 2017. We're here to protect the animals, so one snare at a time, one poacher at a time, saving one animal at a time will go a long way. 